So something interesting happened to me recently that I don't think happens to many investors. So I'm sitting there minding my business when I get a message from a park owner. Now apparently they had watched a bunch of my videos and like what they saw and decided to reach out to me and tell me about 10 mobile homes that I might be interested in. So what do I do? I hop a flight. So I hopped a flight up to St. Louis, Missouri, and from there I rented a car and drove down to Carbondale, Illinois. Now Carbondale is a small but bustling frat town due to the presence of the University of Southern Illinois. Now as a quick side note here, cannabis is legal here, so I felt the need to support a few local businesses. Now the one thing I did notice about this area is that there are a ton of mobile homes up in here. I mean, it really is a flipper's dream. While I'm checking out the scene and familiarizing myself with the layout of the town, I finally get to the park. Now, the one thing that I did notice about this place is that it did not have a traditional mobile home park layout. I mean, these homes have some pretty big lots. Shout out to the owner for putting me up in some really snazzy digs while I was there. I got to stay in a nice single wide, three bedroom, two bath. So I unpacked my stuff and I got to work. I went out and spoke with the park manager and a few of the locals who could give me some history and stuff on the home. And boy, when they found out I had a YouTube channel, they were just like, oh my God, we're gonna be famous. So as I got to checking the homes on my list, I set out to go on ahead and find them. Now, some of these homes were lost causes. Others were kind of like orphans. Uh, they had potential, but sadly, I could not offer them the life that they so richly deserved. So I had to move on. I mean, just take a look at this one right here. I mean, it was down here on a hill. Uh, it was a big two bedroom, two bath, but it looked to be like kind of sliding off into this kind of a ravine or something like that. So, uh, you know, with a good foundation up under it, it could have been salvageable, but it wasn't something I really wanted to deal with at a distance. You know what I mean? So after putting the eyeballs on all the homes that I had on my list and crossing off the ones that I didn't want, as my spade players would say, this left me with only two and a possible. So I got busy inspecting those homes. You know, I walk in the door, take a look around, assess my surroundings. I walk around looking for data plates inside the cabinets as you normally would do. I'm counting rooms, bathrooms, identifying spots that need to be repaired by marking them with fluorescent paint. I always do stuff like this as a rule of thumb whenever I find problem areas and I want to kind of bring it up to a carpenter or a contractor that I might hire for the job and taking down notes so that I could comp the homes later. Now, while the numbers didn't really line up for me to do a remote flip, they did add up for me to do another kind of deal, which I like to call the quick pad. Now, check it out. There are lots of people out there who buy property and it'll just happen to have a mobile home sitting on it and they won't know what to do with it. Many times they'll have no idea of the value of the home, so you can get it at a great price as well. But the quick pass is basically just you profiting from the scenario by purchasing quick and cheap and selling at a decent profit even if it's only to make a quick couple grand while satisfying all parties involved. So in this case, we have a new park owner who wants to make her park a little bit more beautiful and a lot more profitable by opening up to investors. Then you have investors like us who have the resources and the know-how to make that happen at a profit. And lastly, you have a local buyer who's willing to turn that place into a suitable home. So all in all, I really only decided on two of the mobile homes, so it wasn't exactly a waste. Another added bonus to the trip was that I established a relationship with a park owner who's planning on investing in more mobile homes in the future, and connections like that are priceless. Plus, I think I'm actually this close to buying my first park, and we'll see how that goes. I'm planning so many amazing things for the future, including a meetup that's gonna be pretty soon. I think around about the beginning of June, I'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so if you're in that area and you're, you want to link up or something like that, shake a few hands, come out and network with people, it's going to be my community members and some subscribers and stuff who want to come out and just, you know, network a little bit. So comment below if that's something that you're interested in. Give me a shout out if you're in North Carolina. A lot of mobile home flippers in the North Carolina area. If you like this content, you find it helpful and you want to support the channel, please subscribe, smash that like button, and don't forget to turn on notifications. It really does help me out a lot. Also, if you'd like to know more about flipping mobile homes, whether it be fix or flipping or wholesaling, I've put together a free course designed to show you how you can get the ball rolling today. Take a look at a few of the things that people are saying. Michael Wiley might be the mobile home goat. I shared my success with a coworker, referred him and his partner to Mike's YouTube channel, gave them minimal convo about the process, then they binge watched his videos, 
went out to Greensboro, North Carolina one day later and done bought a trailer. Buy and hold. Get it, Mike. Here's another one. The buyer backed out, but I was making small talk with him and his wife. Another one rolled up on me. God's timing is always perfect. He didn't even know I would be there. He just came over on a hunch with the money. The seller agreed that we could put a bow on this and do the darn deal. David Bell and Michael Wiley, you guys pulled me over the hill on this one. God bless you all, onward and upward. And there's the cash. Flipping mobile homes family, I'm still grinding and encourage you guys to do the same. The bag awaits you. Stop making excuses and execute the process. There's plenty of information shared in this group by the almighty leader, Michael Wiley, as well as group members who have taken actions. What's your excuse today? And that's from Lamar, who you might remember from a couple of other videos of mine where he was sharing his successes with us. And another one. After being kicked off Marketplace and having to get creative, I learned it can only go one of two ways. Excuses or execution. And with that said, I get to scream sold. Big shout out to the group and my guy, the El Capitan. Money moves Michael Wiley for laying out the blueprint. You can find a link for that training down below in the description. Also, if you want to schedule a call with me, you can find that link in the description below as well. Last but certainly not least, I would like to invite you to come and join my free Facebook group, or is that Meta Group now? Where we actually have fun and help each other out through networking, advice, live streams, and expert guests. And if you guess that link is below, you would be 1000% correct. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you here next time on Flipping Mobile Homes. Peace.